Hey guys, this is your boy Rusin. And before we start the news today, let's just address the elephant in the room. What the fuck happened to the news? All right, guys, so that's something I actually addressed um, in a couple of videos and also on the vlog video that I released. Just to be honest with you guys, some of you may know that I'm actually a disabled vet and one of my issues is actually my knee. That is just shot to shit. But as anybody who has long lasting injuries know, every now and then those injuries tend to not remind you that they're there. And because of that, I was actually a horse playing with some friends, kind of trying to see who can kick higher. And my knee did not agree with me, what put me for over two months in bed. Uh, my knee was really swollen to the point that it was about four times the regular size. Uh, it's not fully recovered, but it's recovered enough where I can actually sit in front of the computer. But it actually has been like this for the last couple of weeks. The problem I had right after was since I'm stuck in Brazil and Brazil is flu season right now, I actually got the flu. I don't usually get sick. Usually when I get the flu, it's just a couple of days and this thing has been going for two weeks. I am still sick and that's the reason why the format of the news today is a little bit different. I really feel sick, so I did not feel like jumping in front of the camera. Hopefully. I'm gonna get better soon. I'm not saying I have any type of new virus. Um, hopefully it's just the flu. They cannot actually test in Brazil right now. So I'll just go with that. But anyway, guys, so we're gonna go back to the regular news and I have actually a lot to talk about. All right, so one of the first things we need to do is look at the past events, at least the ones I was able to at least check it out. I wasn't able to spend too much time. I spent a couple of days on each. And the first one we're going to be talking about is the pet season event. How can I put that in a really nice way and not be a dick? That event sucked. And the reason why it sucked, so I got some information from moderators and everything. There are two types of drops during the event. One of them, the drops are actually on the old system and the other type of drops were on the new system. Fine, got it. The problem is, I believe that's the old system ones. They actually work with a certain amount of drops between a certain amount of time in the server to all the players. Therefore, let me give you, and it's just numbers, guys. Don't take those numbers as anything to put in any type of equation. But if you have, let me say, a thousand certain type of items per minute to be dropped in the server, and you have a hundred people, a hundred people gonna have about 10 items every minute. The problem is with everything going on with this zombie apocalypse, and just so you guys know, I will try not to refer to the new virus as its name because YouTube seems to hate it. Therefore, I will always mention that as zombie apocalypse. So with the zombie apocalypse going on, the servers are on red right now, at least Raviac. And because they're on red, that means the amount of people in the server is a lot of higher. Therefore, it gives the players a lot less drops. And I feel that's a big issue because I actually spent two days and honestly, I got a Minotaur card and that was an empty one. I got an Ifrit and I may have got some other really, really uninteresting items. So that was a problem. Um, I pretty much, I was already sick. Therefore, after two days of not really being worth my time, I just dropped it. Plus, the only place I could actually get half decent drops that was in ROA. And the problem with ROA, and I'm gonna repeat that across this video, is since it's not an instance dungeon and it's not a large dungeon, and now we have full servers, you just can't do anything there. I mean, you may be able to grab an area by chance and you try to hold on to it as much as you can, but after a while it's gone 
or you have to be arguing with other players. So I don't have the patience and I don't think a lot of people have the patience as well to deal with that. So I wish that was Instance Dungeon. I did go to Devil Dawn and honestly, Devil Dawn wasn't giving me any drops. Because basically, you need to have a large mobs in the most when the server's full to get anything decent. And the mobs are not that large on Devil Dawn to actually, you know, be worth anything. Now, talking about the Summon Bosses event, uh, I was too sick to care. And I was actually kind of upset because of the prior event. I actually did not go to Discord to ask people how that went. To be honest, some of those boss summon events, I usually have issues because it's a last hit kill thing where if you do the last hit, doesn't matter your level, you get all the items. So it just becomes annoying after a while. Therefore, I did not really care about this event. I just tried to get better. And now let's talk a little bit about the Easter event that came kind of late. So, Easter event, it's, I'll be honest, I could not get any drops anywhere, but at Circus, um, always remember that experience may vary. Some people may be lucky at ROA. Again, ROA was crowded. I didn't want to spend too much time. I spent about half an hour. I didn't got anything, so I just went back to Circus. I tried to go to a couple of other dungeons. Also, I wasn't lucky. What doesn't mean other people cannot have been lucky in those other dungeons. So for me, Circus worked fine, and therefore that's where I stayed. It didn't really matter which stage I was actually hunting at. I was getting about the same drops. Now those drops seem to have been random as fuck. What I mean by that is I had some runs in Circus that I got one shell. And I had runs the Circus that I got nine and honestly, every run was anything between two and nine in general. Running stage one, running stage two, it didn't really matter. At the same time, I was running with two snowmen as four. I was running with luck potions. I was running with grace. So that's how much I got running everything I had to increase my luck. You guys should let me know how you guys have been doing this. Yeah, one of the issues I have with the Zister event is that besides for energy of fire i really didn't see anything that major for like drops if i wasn't wrong at some point they used to have the easter rings what increased about 100 for all your stats i don't think lucky was one of them i'm not sure i can't remember but yeah i didn't really think that it was anything that major now another issue some people have been mentioning is that Webzen should be having their anniversary event and it have not been seen. So it may be coming next week. I mean, Easter event came late. There's a lot of things going on, but that's something that we still need to see. Now, while I was gone, a lot of things happened, a lot of comments in the page. I did my best to answer everything I could. And some comments are just open and end comments, therefore, wasn't anything I had to comment on. Uh, one of the things I want to thank you guys that actually gave me some well wishes to get better soon. Thank you very much. Realize and a lot of the other guys, okay, I am getting better. Hopefully I'm going to be fully better by next week. But some of the comments actually had to do with people actually coming back to the game you know, most because of that zombie apocalypse that's going on right now. But one thing that old players actually start mentioning as they came back to the game was Webzen never updated the engine. Now, I want to address that in the channel and understand I don't work for Webzen. So sometimes I may say good things about them, sometimes I may say bad things about them. As an educated guess, the reason why Webzen never updated the engine is because the population of the game has dropped through the years and I really don't feel for Dan, or I should say, they probably don't feel that it's worth for Dan to put money on the game with a low population. Now, at the same time, the population, because of the zombie apocalypse fires, has increased. So it would be a really good thing for WebZen right now to take a look on updating the engine 
while they have the population that just reappeared to the game to try to hook them into staying in the game even after that zombie apocalypse ends. So I believe that would be a great time for WebZen and the devs to start looking at it. I really don't think they're gonna do it, but hey, who knows, right? So yeah, guys, as of right now, we have no information on the WebZen anniversary. Hopefully it's gonna roll out next week. Um, but yeah, I think that's about that. Um, actually, look, if you guys know me, I don't usually complain about drops. For me, drops are something that the company is giving to people. They're not asked for anything besides you, your playtime. You know what? Uh, and drops a good drop. Just in part, I feel if you're going to spend hours to get a drop, it should at least have a chance to get something decent. But yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm sorry it's not the usual format. I hope to get better by next week. There are a few things I'm actually going to try to add to the channel. Like you guys know, this channel is not just about Rapelzi. And this channel is also not just about gaming. It's an entertainment channel. So I'm going to try to work on some things to add. Again, guys, thank you for staying tuned to the channel, even during my absence. If you guys haven't subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, and leave me a like and a comment. That helps a lot the channel. And I hope you guys have a great week. Stay safe and take care of one another. Because right now it's the time for us to do that type of stuff, all right? Again, guys, I'll be seeing you guys in a few days or at least for sure next week. Take care. Again, stay safe.